few years ago, I made a video about the early access version of this very interesting game called Plane Accident. Become an inspector examining causes of plane crashes, visit crash site, gather evidence, and interrogate witnesses, whatever it is. It's practically a simulator for the NTSB, where you're supposed to, you know, examine airplane wreckages of big and small airplanes and find out why they crash in the first place. And then that was an early access I played two years ago on a little single prop airplane that crashed. And I'd have to say, I really love the game. And now for two years after they came up with this beta demo version, they are releasing the full game tomorrow on the 20th of February, 2024, where we have all the missions included. Brad, one of the developers of the White Pig Games gave me the opportunity to play this video as a bit of like a early access version for me, which I really appreciate. And while this is a game release I've been waiting for for a long time, I've already played through the tutorial mission where you're basically shown, well, how does this game operate? And we can jump right in this video into the mission called Time is Money. Honestly, let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is the story. Alfred Bauer, known as the Crazy Fred, was conducting sprays with this well-worn old forming machine. Blah, 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 blah. He had to make an emergency landing in a cornfield, head to the scene and determine the cause of the accident. Everybody, yes, our first actual mission. So here we are in our truck. This is our car. All right, let's go and grab our stuff here, or our uh, interesting goods. And we need to um, find the wreckage, I guess. So um, again, according to the description, according to the police, a plane has crashed in a cornfield. Oh, there it is. It's on, it's literally on fire. It's on fire. It's a crop duster. You know what? It's not looking. Oh, it's not looking. Oh, I'm going to help you, little man. Let me just go ahead and get rid of the fire. That's actually the most important thing in such a case. Deedle -de -do, de -de -de do Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. There you go. This is the crop duster. Now, in the tutorial mission, I didn't learn on how to do first aid. Come on. Uh, help. Dude, call for medical assistance. Uh, definitely call for medical assistance. The pilot is alive. He's uh, he's alive, but he's barely alive. Wow. That is crazy. He's now rushed to the hospital. Well, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, was it? Okay, so everybody, this is our case, our planes. Go ahead and secure the crash site with these poles here. All right, good. Secure it. Beautiful stuff. The propeller. That's not near the aircraft anymore. All right, hey, there it is. There's the landing gear. That can't be good. See, now we have to mark down all the parts of the aircraft. That is also from the aircraft. Jesus, that's quite a bit of a crash site. Mm -hmm. That's a tank. Good. That is one of the sprayers. Can't be too good if it's landed over here. Okay. Now, what I did here now was scan for parts. And so we have this little drone. It's going to help us find more evidence. All right. Just like that. I don't know if this is realistic. You know, to examine the crash site with a drone, I don't think it, uh, it would work like that. But this is like semi-realistic already. Probably with the NTSB, you'd have a whole group of people examining the crash, but hey. Okay, that's the other prop here. That's flown all the way. All right, now let's take some photos here of this airplane. Let's go in order for the wreckage to be transported. We need to get our phone there. Beautiful. Mr. Wolf calling them. Hello, Mr. Wolf. All right, beautiful. They're coming now and they're gonna transport our plane into the hangar where we can do some actual investigation. Good. Hello there, Mr. Wolf. Okay, there it is, our hangar. I like to see this. Now, I guess to determine the cause of accident, we could just ask the pilot, but I guess he's not doing very well. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, read the case file. All right. Took off as his Air Tractor 502. Without any apparent reason, the plane started to descend thanks to the pilot's experience. He was able to make an emergency landing. Okay, that's good. So we can uh, now read through everything here. The technical log, the maintenance record, right? So, uh, yeah, this airplane is a... Uh, this engine is running worse and worse. I've looked at it, but I don't know what's wrong. Hmm. Engine regeneration, uh, no other repairs were up. Yeah, I he also installed a black box into the small airplane, which is good. There was a problem with the radiator, but I fixed it with great tape. All right, so uh, that looks like normal technical log from Ryan Air. No, that's not true. All right, let me check out the pilot flight log. Still flying over the field. If all goes well, I'll be spraying the entire cornfield for two weeks. Yeah, it didn't go that well. Blah, uh, blah. So he's, uh, he's just a farmer, whatever it is. Okay, we've got witnesses. Is who we have. We've got Sergeant Kowalski. Shouldn't he be a penguin? What a break. I managed to determine that the witness to the accident was my neighbor Mike's. Perhaps his testimony will be helpful. Okay. St. Mary Hospital. Good. He was admitted to our hospital in a critical condition and has not regained consciousness yet. Yeah, we can't ask him. 
When its conditions improve, I will inform you by email. Okay, good. Let me go ahead and uh, call some people. Yes, it's true. Why did this airplane end up like this? Good. Grab the phone. Good. Let me go ahead and ask the neighbor, Mike. The one who saw this accident happen. I was sitting on the porch and watched crazy Fred fly over the cornfield. At one point, the plane went straight down to the ground. Luckily, Fred's a good pilot and somehow managed to land. Maybe it's because of those huge tanks he attached to the plane itself. Okay. I told him, just like Fred, with those big tanks, he won't go far. All right, so maybe the tanks. Yes, these old big spray tanks might be too big. Actually, that might be quite a plausible solution. So let me go ahead and ask a mechanic Steve, all these people look so scary. This plane was held together with a duct tape. Inspections? What inspections? As long as something was working, it was working. That's true. When it broke down, Fred, Fred fixed it himself. We have Fred as a fixer. I don't know why, but Fred insisted on having a black box in the plane, so I helped him install it. All right, let me go ahead and ask the black box. For that, we have to reconstruct this big old duster. All right, let's go ahead and grab the tool power drill with which we can reconstruct the airplane. There we go. Let's fit some of them landing gears here. Good the tail drag. All right, the big old tank. Good, now the three props. <laughs> Good tank shield. Okay, there it is. That might have blown off because it was quite far away from the wicked, wicked side. All right, and now the sprinkler. Good. Oh, God damn it, this thing is out of battery. All right, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, beautiful. So let me go ahead and now scan our wreckage with our drone once again. So let me go ahead and... Maybe scan for explosives, although that doesn't make too much sense. I mean, who would blow this thing up? Mm-hmm, beautiful animation. Oh, look at that. That's quite sci-fi. I bet the NTSB would wish to have something like this. Okay, good. All right, let's let me check our computer because we have a new email. All right. The scan showed that the additional crop spray tank did not affect the aircraft's payload capacity and were not the cause of the accident. Hmm. So let me take a look at the actual black box indeed, which the crazy man installed. Mm hmm. It's the hatch. Where the hell's the black box? Maybe in the actual uh, cockpit itself? Ah, there it is. I found Ah, there you go. I found it. Okay. Beautiful. It's like a flight simulator racing seat without a seatbelt. All right. There it is. Not. Oh! Look at that! Some interesting narcotics. I wonder how the hospital hasn't found that yet. All right, interesting. Okay, let me go ahead and see what the black box is saying. So we have to, uh... Oh God, the chipmunk's here. I guess we have to uh, change the frequency. Nice. All right, fuel. Okay, that might be fuel then. All right, good. All right. Recording decoded successfully. During the flight, the engine stopped functioning. The probable cause was fuel depletion. Please check the fuel level. I mean, okay, we did see some of that fire next to the crash site. We could perhaps on our board say that, okay, the spray tank is okay. Yes, yeah, so we go ahead and uh, send away this uh, vial of drugs for analysis. Bye-bye, career. There we go. Looks good. Yes. Yeah. So we go ahead and now actually check for fuel because once again, apparently the airplane ran out of fuel. So let's go ahead and get into the cockpit here. All right. Uh, turn it on. That's the battery switch. And this is the... Yeah, that is... Uh, well, that is uh, not that bad. The fuel indicator shows that the tank is half full. Okay. So we go ahead and check the blueprint of the aircraft right there to see where the fuel tank then is. It should, uh, should be right there. It's quite, quite obvious. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and check the, uh, the fuel level. With the fuel probe. That's the that one? You know, this is actually normally a fuel test that you would do in order to check whether there's any water in your fuel. Okay. Another location. Yes, on both sides of the wing, you would do that. You wouldn't really check whether there's actual fuel in there, though. Now, the tank is empty. Discuss it with the mechanic. Okay. All right, then. Um, let's go ahead and call the mechanic, actually. I think that would be a brilliant idea. Mechanic Stanley. Fuel gauge not working, showing the wrong value? No. Very likely, agricultural machines aren't subject to mandatory inspections. I suspect that half the symptoms were faulty and barely holding up anyway. Okay. The fuel indicator didn't work very well. Let's go and receive the box that just came in. Everybody, it is true. Our airplane went out of fuel. Why do we know that? Well, there wasn't any fuel coming out of the actual um, probes there. Good. Let's go ahead and see here what this is. The drug said anything important for the case? Read the email. Mm -hmm. We've analyzed the substance provided. Ordinary aspirin. Okay. Yeah, 
no, 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 that's not. That's just aspirin. Okay, good. So this is our clues now. The drugs that we found was common aspirin. But one thing that was faulty was the indicator. The airplane ran out of fuel from St. Mary Hospital. Good morning. I wanted to inform you that Mr. Fred Bellwer has regained consciousness and his conditions allows for questioning. Good. Let's go ahead and call him. Oh, crazy Fred. I feel weak. I don't know what happened. Was there not enough fuel? The gauge has been working for a year. But I always refueled with my 200 gallons of fuel and it wasn't enough. This time, my new employee, Pedro, refueled the airplane. All right, Pedro. I speak English little, si senor. I tank airplane. 200 liters. Okay, good. That almost sounds like stereotyping. I don't know. Okay, there you go, Pedro. You idiot. 200 liters. And there you go. That's what happened. The airplane ran out of fuel. So what a mystery there. After thinking, okay, these tanks, the spray tank were too big. And that's why the airplane crashed. Well, that wouldn't turn out that the, um... Pedro had poor knowledge of English and he misunderstood Fred's instruction. Instead of 200 gallons, he put 200 liters of fuel in there. This almost sounds like a Glimly Glider classic. Confusing the Imperial and the metric. He bought a new plane, he's still personally piles. Good, good. Everybody solved their first case. Now, what about Pedro, his fuel guy? Fred fired him from his job and wanted to press charges. However, he quickly remembered that Pedro was employed illegally. Ultimately, a week after returning from the hospital, he rehired Pedro. Good. Well, what the question is now? Well, what do we do? Should we perhaps, um, try another mission? In the desert near the town of Santa Marta, the wreckage of a small plane was found, and inside two bodies in an advanced state of decomposition. The flight was not reported anywhere. The victims of the crash have no documents with them. A highly suspicious case that we are supposed to solve. Everybody, let's go ahead and visit the Red Desert. Uh, yeah, there you go, like that. Let's go and find that wreckage, or that may be. Well, everybody, it is a ghost plane. Can we jump off the cliff? No, quite a hilly terrain, isn't it? I think the hardest part is actually navigating to this damn plane. Jeez. Oh, there it is. Light aircraft. And everybody, here it is. Our ghost airplane. Check the conditions of the victim. Yeah, that ain't looking good. N okay. The bodies are in an advanced state of decomposition. They must not be touched. Okay. Very realistic modeling. Now, let's go ahead and secure this aircraft. Mm-hmm. And secure the evidence as well, because the whole other... Oh, there's another place. There's another part. What is this? That landing gear or something. All over the place. This is a twin-engine aircraft, obviously. Good. So using our drone, I'm checking where the, you know, other um, items can be that we have to secure here. The evidence for the crash. There it is. A lot more items. See, with this kind of crash side, there's quite a few things scattered all around the place. Oh, what is that? Is that the radio? No, that's just a regular radio. I'm in the middle of the desert. I'm really just trying to find all the parts that we need. Ah, uh, okay. What is that here? Hmm. That looks a little suspicious. Hmm. Maybe they took a trip over the border. Good. Good for them. All right, here's another part to scan. Yeah. Interesting. 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 Down there. Mm-hmm. It's a bucket of paint. Oh, what is this? Oh! A gun! He's from America. It's fine. Let's go and take some pictures of this airplane. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, some more photos. Not bad, not bad. Also of that separated wing. Let's take some pictures of the tail section of the aircraft. But this implies the aircraft was coming down somewhere here and crashed in this direction. Jeez, that is a crash site indeed. That's the November registration as well. Alright, now. Last photo before we get into the hangar. Let's go and call the... Call the guys, Mr. Wolf. Damn, they, they can do anything, right? I guess at this point, it wouldn't even make sense in real life to retrieve all that. Like in the wilderness, there are, there are thousands of plane wrecks that are just left there because you don't really care to remove all of that. You need, a, you need a helicopter to do this. Several ones. But I guess Mr. Wolf can do it with his van. Now, okay, good. All right, this is the airplane. Good to see. It is very obvious that um, we've got a smuggler's airplane. And we know how the cartel flies. Uh, right, right, the case file, blah, blah, blah. Everything we know. A local cattle herder discovered an airplane wreck in the desert. Blah, blah, blah. There's no flight logbook or maintenance manual. Nothing. We've got uh, Captain Rodriguez. It appears to be a case of illegal immigration. Yeah, the captain's always right. The airplane was in old and poor technical condition. Blah, blah, blah. The wreckage on the desert was discovered by Jose Waquez, who uh, probably is the shepherd. The investigation to determine the identity of the victims is ongoing. Okay, that's good. The significant decomposition of the bodies makes the task challenging. Yeah, you'd have to figure it out through DNA, but that's okay. Let's go ahead now and call the witness, Jose. I found an airplane by accident when I was searching for a lost calf. Damn, where do you keep your cows, man? I immediately ran to the call of the police, blah, 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 blah. 
Okay. Good. Good stuff. Let's go and send some emails out, perhaps. I mean, what are we going to write? To who? Kindly request you to check the ownership of the airplane. Okay, the tail number. You could sort that up on a flight radar. Attach other photos of the victims. Blah, blah, blah. That's good. All right. Let's go ahead and place some clues on the board. Illegal immigration. Determine the owner. See, I guess this is how they work. This is very much like the movies where they would, you know, give clues. Let's go ahead and reconstruct this highly wrecked airplane. There you go. The power drill that we will need. Oh, this is the landing gear or something like that. What is that? Your leg of this thing here. We probably won't be able to find that tire. It's not that important, is it? Engine cover. Okay. Airframe part. That belongs here. Yes, everybody. Let's go ahead and make this airplane airworthy again. Finally. Good. Main gear cover. Good. Let's go ahead and uh, put that here. Beautiful. Send the evidence for analysis. Yeah, the gun. Good. Very rusty. As well as the drugs. Okay. I mean, we could we could taste it ourselves and find out, I guess. But we can send it to the the the, the feds. Make a scan of the wreckage. No worries at all. We can just use your magical drone to scan the surface of this thing. Good. Truly very sci-fi here once again. I mean, it seems to be a nice little airplane, this thing, isn't it? But perhaps we'll go and scan for explosives. I guess that could be, you know, cardinal, cardinal thing, right? Right. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and see now. Probably the results have now come in. Scan. Let's go receive the emails. Good. Okay. Computer. So, inbox. Uh, the scan has detected clear traces of gunpowder as well as bullet marks. It's likely that a shootout occurred during the flight. Okay. Uh, that's good. Very cartel. Wouldn't hate that. Let's go ahead and call some of the witnesses. Uh, Rodriguez. A gun, bullet traces, looks like a dispute among the smokers of immigrants. They probably fought over money. He's so right. Everybody, we may not have a technical cause of this accident, but a human cause. Someone has shot at a plane. Let's go ahead and send the rudder for further analysis. Probably that one has some bullet holes on it. We can check out what might have gone wrong there. I think um, with this case, we'll be very... I mean, why are we investigating? I mean, you know, we don't care about the immigration mafia and um, their business and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and check out the inbox stuff here. So, it has been determined that the victims are males ranging from 35 to 45. That's a vexer, like a big range. Attention to, to two bolts were found in the pilot's body, which could have been the direct cause of the death. Interesting. We provide a tail number of the aircraft as falls. We couldn't find such a number in our database. And we suspect that it was painted before the flight. Okay. We suggest checking if there's real tail number underneath. Well, perhaps here? Aha! Okay, it's just been point painted over. Okay, interesting. Send the actual tail number for verification by email. Okay. Good. Time to do that. Perfect. And now some boxes have arrived. For example, with the rudder. Let's take a look at that. Everybody, quite a mysterious case, isn't it? All right, let me check that one. This special package is. All right. Good. Why is there an A10 here of a blueprint? All right, I can't wait to see what was inside of that thing. God just says that it contains pure cocaine. It's very high pretty suggests that these are drugs directly from the producer. Nice. All right, now the rudder that's been delivered in by Fastbox. He's very fast indeed. I don't hate that at all. All right, that's the gun. Good. Let's see what the gun was all about. This pistol is a Colt 1911. We found fingerprints of Miguel de la Cruz de Diego Fernandez. The Los Barros cartel. Good. I attached photos of the criminals. Hello there. And hello there. He looks a bit criminal. Cool. Let's call some witnesses. I mean, who, who should we call here? Rodriguez. Los Desperos cartel. Interesting. I have great news. I found an eyewitness to the crash. It's Juanita Rivera. All right, let's go ahead and call her. Uh, Juanita, how you doing, man? Shut up! Why are you not answering the damn phone? She's ghosting me! Ah! All right, meanwhile, there's another package that's just arrived from investigation about the rudder. Very interesting. So, everybody, I mean, our, our situation report is that, well, we've got a pilot who's been shot. I think we can already end the investigation, right? All right, that's the one here. Good, good. All the clues here. Don Los Sparrows! All right, let's see. Maybe once again, does Juanita answer now? Come on. I was collecting agave flowers in the desert when I saw a small plane flying. Well, I was flying unevenly. I heard gunshots from the plane and then it crashed. People came out of the plane and scattered. Oh, across the desert. They must have been illegal immigrants. I think about 16 people ran out. I was scared, so I ran home. Better not know anything about such matters. Interesting there. 16 people. As it turns out, the aircraft registration department has come back. 
We have found the submitter's tail number in her, in her database. Nekrov was registered to Carlos Amera, resident of Santa Marta Town, and providing his contact information. I guess we can also call him. Wow, this is a very, well, unfolding case. Airplane, my airplane, he, he, I'm a poor old farmer. I only have a bicycle. Did I sign something? Someone came with papers once and said I need to sign something. They even brought tequila, but I don't remember who it was. Oh well, yeah, he remembers. Yeah, okay, um, okay. Let me examine the airplane cockpit for, I guess, how many people were there. I guess that's interesting. So, like that, and inside, the airplane can accommodate a maximum of six passengers. Well, that looks like a bit of a overweight situation, isn't it? So it turns out there, there was some survivors, according to Juanita. Let's take a look here. Juanita is lying. Oh, that could also be the case. An email has arrived. Jesus, this is all falling. I can't even properly do commentary on this thing because it's unfolding so quickly. The expertise has shown that the recovered bolts could not have been fired from the found pistol. The test result confirmed that they were fired from a rifle model, which has recently been issued to police unit. Okay, recommendation. Please request the local police command to provide a list of owners of rifles of the type. Interesting. Could the police have shot the airplane? Let's call Rodrigo. Who were they shot at with a rifle? Impossible. We have never had such incidents before. Perhaps there was a mistake in the investigation. Of course, I will send you the inventory, but it is possible for a weapon to be registered with us. Okay, interesting. Interesting there. So it was shot by police. Well, that would make kind of sense, wouldn't it? With a rifle. I mean, that's good aim. All right, what is this here in the package? Mm -hmm. Let's place it here. What is that? Photo. Interesting. Photo one. I can't lie any longer. Maybe this will help solve the case, Juanita. All right. That's a police officer. All right. Rodriguez knew the criminals. Rodriguez. All right. We might have a bit of an issue here. What if our guy, Rodriguez, shot the airplane? Which would be quite random. Yeah. I have no idea what's wrong. Okay. Let's call. Yes. Hello. Oh, it's you. There are plenty of bad people in the city. I fought against them, but I can always do it within the law. Consider it as an accident involving illegal immigrants. Please, I will replay you. I will give you a million dollars. You will be set for life. Take a bribe or close. Oh, this is interesting now. The story's unfolding. Everybody Rodriguez shot the immigrants. Very understandable. He's now offering a million dollars. Let's not take the bribe. Let's close. I don't care. Now we've got some Polish text. Interesting. No, I don't care. Federal police! You called the federal authorities and provided collected evidence. Rodriguez has been arrested on charges of murdering Rujunita Riviera? Shooting down the- Wait, she's killed? Been kicked- well, Oh! That's crazy! And he also seized a significant amount of drugs. Everybody, Rodriguez is a bad guy. Wow. So, um... That's quite tragic here. Congratulations. Well, we've done it. That is crazy. Well, everybody, the video is so, so long. We've already solved two accidents, one of which was fatal. I think we've done a great job. I mean, the thing is, I don't want to spoil the game for everyone. You know, I do want to support the developer because this is such a good game. It's a bit buggy just yet. It needs to be developed. But in order for that, they, they probably need money. So I have a lot of sympathy for this little game. Maybe for new missions to come out soon. I really want to try out the airliner part and then one of the next parts. Or you perhaps can buy the game yourself and play it. So everybody, maybe a second part soon. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.